Our let's get more information on the new sanctions President Joe Biden imposed yesterday on Russia. The sanctions target large Russian financial institutions and Moscow's sovereign debt, cutting off the country from Western financing. They also focus on five wealthy Russian elites and their family members, but do not go after Putin directly. The European Union also imposed new sanctions that will blacklist Russian lawmakers and officials and also target imports and exports. The EU stopped short of imposing full sanctions, saying these target financial institutions are designed to hurt. Joining us now, Deputy Secretary of the Treasury, Wally Adiemo. Um So, Mr. Secretary, I, I'm curious um, how these sanctions actually impact the Russian banks, Russian officials, um, what is the hurt that's being imposed on them, and also the impact on the U.S. economy that we should expect. Uh, thanks for having me this morning. And yesterday, the sanctions that we imposed were significant actions that had an impact on Russia in multiple ways. The banks that we went after, one of them was critical to Vladimir Putin's ability to project power within Russia. It's money they use to pay, the Kremlin uses to pay for things within the country. The second bank was critical to their defense industry and their ability to project power outside of Russia. We've cut those banks off from the U.S. financial system, and today their assets are frozen because of the actions that we took. In addition to taking that step, we cut off Russian elites. These elites are close to the Kremlin and close to Putin. And the reality is that Vladimir Putin gains a great deal of his wealth from taking money from these elites and from the Russian economy. So by cutting off these individuals and their children, we cut off the ability for Vladimir Putin to use their resources to further his lifestyle. And finally, the action we took to cut off sovereign debt means that over time, Russia's economy will be starved of the resources they need to project power within the region and around the world. One of the most important things we did was we didn't do this alone. We did it with our allies and partners around the world, which meant that Russia was cut off from a number of Russian financial, Western financial institutions. The Euro Europe makes up 40 percent of Russia's trade. So being cut off from Europe will mean that their economy will grow slowly over time. You asked about the impact here in the United States, and what the president has told us is to take actions that will severely impact the Russian economy and to mitigate the impact on the U.S. and, and Europe, which we, have, which we have done. But there will be costs, and our goal will be to make sure that we mitigate those costs over time. So, Mr. Secretary, on that last point that you made about the uh, private individuals and sanctions uh, who are close to uh, Vladimir Putin, as you know, Places like London and Manhattan are full with Russian money, full with Russian money. How is it, what's the degree of difficulty in imposing sanctions on private citizens, basically private citizens, in places like London and Manhattan, in Miami, places throughout the world where money is parked? How do we penalize them and can we penalize them? So, Joe, yes, we can penalize them. And what we have done and what we've learned over the last few years is that while we usually will go after the named individual and we'll sanction them, what they've done previously is they've moved money to their family members and to their known associates. So one of the things we did yesterday was in addition to going after the named individuals, we went after their children. And our goal will be, as we continue, is to make sure that we target the individuals around them to ensure that the money they're sending to places like London and New York through those individuals can no longer flow, and we constrict the ability of this money to flow back to President Putin. Deputy Secretary of the Treasury, Wally Adeyemo, thank you very much for being on the show this morning. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.